Ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? We got some shit to talk about. It's been a while. I have not said anything for on the YouTube uh, for, uh, oh, I don't know, six, seven months now. Um, took a little break and then COVID hit. Wasn't really sure what to say about COVID. Um, I'm still not sure what to say about COVID, but I think maybe I have a better understanding of what's going on. And so I, sh I thought I would share my thoughts with you. Um, this shit does not make any fucking sense. It, none of this makes sense on multiple levels. Um, it doesn't make any sense from a medical perspective. It doesn't make any sense from a sociologic perspective or a management perspective. Um, you know, I, when it first came out, I was actually traveling to I went to I went to Japan in February of this year and I was going over there and and there were some whispers about this COVID thing and should we go and a couple of the guys on my trip were like it was a ski trip a couple of the guys on the trip were like uh well we shouldn't go on this trip because of COVID or we should wear masks and stuff and and I looked at everything and the CDC said no you shouldn't be wearing any masks you don't need masks with this because um you know, if it's aerosolized, then you need an N95. And so I said, hey, you guys, if you're going to bring a mask, you got to bring an N95. Otherwise, it really doesn't make a difference. That's what the CDC says. You know, and from my training, I know it's aerosolized. It's you need an N95. And it's if it's droplet, you just have the regular one. But if it's really contagious, like highly contagious, unlikely that it's droplet. And uh, it's probably aerosolized. So that's kind of what I was thinking and all that stuff. And so, um, you know, it continues that the CDC recommends different things every fucking week. And it's, uh, you know, it's passed on fomites. It's not passed on fomites. It's uh, highly contagious. It's not highly contagious. It's asymptomatic patients uh, transmit it. Asymptomatic patients don't transmit it. You know, you can you got to wear a mask at a restaurant, but you walking from the door to the seat but then when you sit down you can take the mask off but then when you get up and go to the bathroom you gotta put the mask and none of this makes any fucking sense okay and I'm gonna just tell you another story uh, from about from from so I'll tell you another story for 2,000 years me the medical community uh, up until about the 1600s or the 1800s or something like that um, there was a treatment called bloodletting and that was removing blood from patients. And, uh, the thought was, is there was bad humors, right? <laughs> Toxins in our blood and the blood had to be removed when patients got sick. And we're talking sick. Like what were the diagnoses at that time? Basically infection and tumors and things like that. We didn't really know a lot of other stuff. Right. Uh, and so a lot of it was of this bloodletting was being treated or, or this bloodletting uh, was patients were being treated for sepsis which in sepsis your problem is you don't have any oxygen carrying capacity you can't get the, the oxygen to the organs that's the main problem in in sepsis and you're removing blood removing the oxygen compare uh, carrying capacity from the patient so for 2,000 years, essentially, we were harming patients. All right. Now, for the last, like, three or four months, and there's a huge argument on whatever side you're on, and it's, it's become so politicized right now, it's ridiculous, and you can't even say which thing you think because then the other side assumes that you're whatever, right? But to me in medicine and this is the point of this video mostly is not really so much covid but it's but it's to to the students who follow me and watch these videos is that you kind of you got to make sense of it for yourself in school and in residency and now in my job 
If I don't understand it and it doesn't make any sense to me, I got to go back and figure out how to make sense of it. And this shit doesn't make any sense. And here's what I am postulating right now, thinking about maybe it makes more sense that there's two viruses and the tests that we have are really not picking up the two viruses. They're picking up coronavirus. Well, there's a lot of coronaviruses and maybe the test is not sensitive enough because we are often wrong. And, you know, up until the 1600s, we thought blood was bad and we were removing it from people. Now we know blood is kind of fucking important. So maybe we're wrong about something having to do with the coronavirus it, itself, as in we don't know exactly what it is, we don't know what it's doing, that's clear because we can't treat it, uh, or we don't know how to treat it, we don't know why people are sus certain people are susceptible, maybe certain people aren't susceptible, and maybe a bunch of people have coronavirus, but it's not a bad coronavirus, and there's a, a and, and that one is very rampant, but it's asymptomatic, or it's very, if, you know, there's, it's a very light flu, but maybe there's another virus hiding in all of these numbers that is very bad, and it's clearly very bad because all of the people that I talk to that take care of these sick patients are like, it's really fucking bad. So, you know, I think once there's kind of an, a split, like, there's split hypotheses right now. And one of them's like, oh, this is a terrible virus and it's going to kill everybody. And the other is like, no, this is, this is all bullshit. Well, you know, probably it's somewhere in the middle, right? Probably there is a part of this virus or a certain, you know, not even, I don't even want to say a strain of the virus because then, you know, like Fauci came out and was like, oh, there's a different strain. It's even more, uh, you know, deadly and all this bullshit. I mean, this is all fucking fear tactic bullshit that these guys are doing. And by the way, infectious disease colleagues take, do not take offense to this, but you should, the country should not be run. Business decisions and all the decisions of the country should not be determined by an infectious disease physician because they are very specified in what they look at. They, he is looking at this virus and going like, well, what's the, what's the best thing to do? The best thing to do is nobody ever gets this virus and everybody stays home and nobody ever leaves their fucking house again. Well, that would completely destroy all of humanity. So that's not really possible, okay? So if you take like a medical doctor or a surgeon, you kind of got to look at everything else and say, okay, what's the best scenario for this patient? This patient I have today, actually a bad pelvic injury, urethral injury, uh, DVT, all this stuff. Uh, and we got him on Coumadin and he had a filter and we, should we pull the filter? Should we keep him on Coumadin? He doesn't have insurance. Should we, you know, should we give him Eliquis, these other medications? The, those medications are more expensive, so he's not going to be able to afford it. Can't, but can he be mobile enough to go get his Coumadin checked, right? His blood levels for his Coumadin. Well, you got to take all of these things into account when looking at this patient. Now, the best thing for the patient, right, is to not get a DVT or not get a PE, right? And just leave the filter in and give them the best drugs possible. And maybe that would be just to leave him in the hospital for the next five months or six months and put him on a heparin drip and we monitor the whole thing. Well, that's fucking stupid because the, then the kid's never going to go home and he's never going to recover, actually recover and have a regular life. So this is, these are things that you got to think about. And, and these are the things that I think about when I'm thinking about coronavirus is that, is it the right thing to do to shut all the businesses down and looking at the numbers the numbers may have gone up but the severity of the severity of the virus I'm not sure it warrants all of that it may it might I don't know yet and I don't think anybody knows but 
I think to listen to people to say these are facts and these are not facts, I think that's completely wrong. Right now, we have no goddamn idea what the hell is going on. We're only two or three months into whatever it is, four months into this thing, and we were wrong for 2,000 years about bloodletting. My bet is we have got some things wrong about this coronavirus also. I don't think that's all I wanted to say, but that's like the tip of the iceberg. Those are the few things I wanted to say about corona. And my main message for this video is that you gotta make sense of it for yourself. And if you're in, in school, you wanna go into medicine, this is something that you have to be comfortable doing is saying, I don't understand this, putting your hand up and saying in front of everybody in the class, I don't understand this. Because most of the time, you don't understand that for a reason. Not, it's not because you're stupid, it's because either somebody's not explaining it correctly or it doesn't make any fucking sense. And it's a something else, right? And if somebody tells you this is the diagnosis and you go, I don't understand this. Why is this the diagnosis? I'm not sure. Is this the right treatment? Because I'm going to do the surgery. So I got to make sure for myself that I believe this to be true and it makes sense to me. And so you got to get used to raising your hand in front of a million people and saying, it doesn't make sense to me. I, I need to make makes it needs to make sense to me you know and right now this none of this makes sense to me <laughs> the two virus thing is the theory that I was talking with some colleagues and it kind of like evolved and it makes more sense to me but I'm not really buying it totally yet um, there's a theory there's a uh, philosophical theory Occam's razor and Occam's razor is basically it's a, it's called razor because you cut every all the extraneous shit out of whatever explanation you get for some problem and if there's all these like weird caveats to some explanation then it's probably incorrect and it's probably the most simple explanation is the correct explanation and so you know to to say like the virus is uh, so contagious and so deadly, but not really. And so, but also some people are asymptomatic and maybe also some people that are asymptomatic don't really pass it along. Or maybe some of them do. There's too, too much extraneous stuff. And so I would, I would probably try to cut all that out and say, well, what if there are just two viruses and we're wrong about some shit? And one virus is very deadly and it's uh or, or it's it's very dangerous and the other one's not like that makes more sense and it's more simple it's more streamlined so those are the uh, the the uh thoughts that i'm i'm having along those lines right now anyway good to be back good to see you guys i hope you enjoyed <clears throat> good to be back good to see you guys hope you enjoyed this video um yeah see you next time